Right. Hi, I'm Liz, CEO of High Operator, and we provide customer service as a service. So we're not a chatbot, and we're not an outsourced headcount solution. We're an end-to-end -end solution, which means that if you email one of our clients, you're actually likely to get a response from High Operator. So scaling customer service is difficult. Right? When it's largely a bespoke and apprenticeship-based industry where old workers do everything from memory and then your new employees have to struggle with outdated documentation. So when your company is really small, one agent can do everything. And then when there's too much work, you hire another agent and the existing agent trains the old agent the old-fashioned way. And then as you grow, you'll hire another and another. And then soon, some will quit and move on and you'll have to replace them so you don't have any service interruptions as you carry on. This means that you often get stuck in a vicious cycle where you hire these agents, you train these agents, and then when they quit, the knowledge walks out the door with them. So we deal with all of that. The companies that we work with train high operator as if they're training one additional customer service agent, and then we can scale from anywhere from half an agent's worth of output to as many agents as they need. So we deliver scalable customer service by executing support workflows on demand, and then we charge per execution loop. So we're at this unique point in time where it's really easy to access commoditized labor online, whether that's your Upwork, Mechanical Turk, something like Fiverr. These people are really great at simple tasks like answering a survey or maybe tagging a photo. But how do you get them to create more complex processes out of these simpler tasks? So that's where we come in. You know, imagine an iPhone factory. You know, no single worker in that factory knows how to assemble the entire iPhone. But because of the way that these specialists are configured and the stations that they're put in, together they can put together an incredibly complex hardware product. So similarly here, we create an assembly line for services. So we take complex customer service processes, not just the front end where you speak to the customer, but the back end where you actually process what needs to be done in the different systems, and we break them down into well-defined self-contained steps. This means that we can then crowdsource these steps out to agents who just do one specific task. So you can have a mom in the Midwest hop on, for example, and just create, create FedEx returns or maybe browse photos to find where there are actual defects in the product. And then what we do on the back end is we reconstitute these tasks together to create, to reconstitute these larger, more complex processes. Processes for e-commerce companies, by the way, are actually fairly similar. We find that they're about 80% the same. When we integrate and onboard someone, we're really just clarifying the edge cases that make them different on a policy level. And we're also automating this. When you have tasks that are well-defined and self-contained where you know the exact input and the output that you're expecting, they're easily automatable. As we execute these processes, we're tagging both the text as well as the processes to create a proprietary set of structured training data that's far more valuable than just unstructured text. So there's a lot of talk about AI and customer service. If you believe that automation is the future of customer service, we believe that the first step is actually standardization and defining a common language for customer service processes. In a sense, you're trying to industrialize an industry before you can automate it. So this is the team. My co-founder and I met here at the Media Lab about seven years ago. And we're a high operator, we're about a year old, we're profitable, and we're on the path to automating customer service. If your company serves customers, we would love to chat and learn a little bit more.